Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the tools menu in the recording toolbar. And when we take a look at the tools menu, you're going to notice that you have Camtasia and Screencast here. Now Camtasia, when you click this link, this will actually show you the editing toolbox. So if I click this, we'll see the screen that we have seen before in the previous video. And so you'll notice that the editing field comes up. When we go to tools and we go to screencast, what will happen is that your browser will open up screencast.com, which is a website that will interact with your Camtasia. We will be talking about that in a future video. And there you'll see we have opened up to screencast.com. Now when we go to the tools menu and we go to the options section, you're going to notice four sections, general inputs, hotkeys, and programs. Now, all of these things will be here by default. And for the most part, you won't want to change them unless you have a reason to. We're going to focus on the hotkeys in particular. That will be the one that you'll probably use the most. Now, these hotkeys are going to be keyboard combinations that you can use while you're recording. So, for example, if when you're recording, if you want to pause the recording and you hit F9, the recording will pause. If you want to stop the recording and you hit F10, the recording will stop. If you want to use the marker and you hit Control M, you can pull up the marker. And the same thing with the screen draw. You can also select a region while you're recording if you choose a certain keyboard combination. Right now, one is not selected. If you want to hide the tray icon, you can do that by selecting a certain keyboard combination. Now, you can always use the default settings if you click Restore Defaults. Now, one thing that you will want to be aware of is that your recordings are going to be saved in a proprietary Camtasia format, TREC. If you want to save it to a more common format, you can do that with the AVI format. But for the most part, you will probably be using the TREC, and that is what we will be using during the duration of this course. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.